All right, before you start the video, this is Eagle from the future, and I'm sorry that this video is so late, so far past the end of the season, but I couldn't really edit because I had my shoulder surgery and I was super busy before that. But I have all this footage, so I don't wanna let it go to waste. This is a combination vlog from the DGPT finals and USDGC. And uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm hoping to make some more content this off season. I got some lefty rounds planned and uh, maybe a season recap. Um, comment down below what kind of footage you'd like to see from me because I definitely want to ramp up the YouTube channel once again uh, in 2024. We have around 75,000 subscribers and I'd love to get this community up over 100,000. I think that's an amazing number and an amazing goal that I'd love to hit in 2024. So the plan is to put the work in, create a multitude of different vlogs, what I think is fun and uh, really just wanting to Spread a bunch of positivity. That's my thing now. Uh, not, not that it wasn't my thing before, but I wanna be more of a catalyst for positivity moving forward. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Peace. Get some clam chowder. Yeah. You New England boy. Are you vlogging uh, every week now? I vlog every week. I gotta spread the world of clam chowder all across the nation. This is my, my new public eagle with the cream. This is my new stick. Oh my god. I actually did it. Um <laughs> Today is the start of the 25th USDGC. I got three practice rounds at Winthrop. Feeling very excited. The weird thing is that this event doesn't count rating, so there's no need to not be somewhat aggressive. Before starting the event, I've been contemplating and I think I'm going to be a little bit more on the aggressive side for this event because uh, if you're aggressive in the right spots at Winthrop, you can actually do decent damage mitigation. But we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling during the round, but as of right now, the forecast looks amazing. Uh, minimal wind, so to speak. The whole game feels uh, pretty well-rounded. So, I'm really excited to get started. First round, I'm with Niklas, Chris Dickerson, and Calvin. Let's go.
Is it to make Emmy laugh and smile? <laughs> no, I actually bought it for a game we're playing in Germany. It's weird it doesn't go sideways though, it's still just vertical. Oh, Final round of USDGC. Haven't really given an update. This tournament has been, it's been so close, but generally speaking, it's a bit, a bit of a rough one. Can't say I've been too happy with the outcome of all the rounds. There's been a lot of good moments, but at the same time, there's been so many opportunities and I haven't capitalized how I would have liked. I can just go back and go and pick apart my rounds and find so many strokes that I could easily claim, but I, I can't do it. Um, but I'm in 15th now, and honestly, I could still get a really solid finish if I am able to put together a round today. So sticking to the process, I'm not, even though all this crap has happened, I've stuck to the process and I am hanging on by a thread, so I can be proud of that. Uh, even when I've not played good, I can still say that I'm in the tournament to a certain degree. So that's the 
shred of positivity that I'm taking from this and uh, just keep the foot on the gas. Keep the grind going. Never give up. Okay, everybody, that was the USDGC, and I've decided that this vlog is not over. Nope. I am doing a double whammy, USDGC and Pro Tour finale. Finals. I say finals and finale. I don't know which one it is. Into one vlog, just because it'll be easier for me, and there's a, actually a lot of stuff going on right now, so don't really have time to edit uh, this week. Just a quick recap on USDGC. I made a post, and uh, I honestly... There's a lot of good to take from USDGC, but wasn't very happy. I can't say I was that happy with my performance. Uh, threw a lot of good shots, more good shots than bad, but definitely a lot of bad shots. But I'm not gonna change my routine. I'm not gonna change my, uh, my process because still, top 10, I'm gonna keep trucking forward and do my best this week. So today is the start of the Pro Tour Finals. I'm playing with Simon, Kyle Klein, as well as Matt EO. We're seeds five, six, seven, eight, and it's going to be a good day. I start off at three under, three under advantage, and uh, need to be in the top 12 by the time day or the end of day two. So, looking forward to going out there and doing my thing. All right, see you out there. Standing in the cold, cold rain I don't even feel the pain Anything to step away I know we could both do better Wish you would've left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in our reflection If you never look in the mirror Counting the days until you're gone Waiting for us 
just to carry on Oh, I'm running, what am I running from? Time's going by, but where's the time going? I tried to give you everything You took it all and took it for granted If you're still falling out of love Maybe it's cause it's not enough Tana, do you have a piece of paper? Yeah. We, we need to catch a cockroach. Are you scared of cockroaches? No. Maybe you can get one without paper then. Because <laughs> I'm scared. Is it in the dark? Yeah. Is this why you didn't go to Discraft? To with bugs? Oh, the roaches do? Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna open the front door. The front? Why not the back? Because the back door, you're open all the time. You can crawl back in. Wow, look at that. Should we both be ashamed that we didn't do it? We had Ratana do it? And how on the tie does everything. <laughs> when it comes to bugs. We, had a, we went to the snake in the house. And how I just like picked it up and put it outside. Just picked it up? And I was hiding in the corner like this. <laughs> Things are scary. I don't think I'll do that. Disc Mania Golf Discs. Hey, okay, Disc Maniacs. I'm your sled ass mom. Owner of the Disc Mania. Owner of the Disc Mania. Now it's available. Power driver. Really nice. Spy Kaiser. Long drives. It's firm. Bass table. Tooks to the left. And actually, even a flex shot. Tooks to the left. Tooks to the left. There is a water on the right. But I don't even mind it. Tooks to the left. 527 feet. So you see, tooks to the left. It's in the middle of the fairway. Easy play on three. After day two, I made the cut. Top 12 progressed to play the next two days and everything is reset, which is very interesting to say the least. I'm excited because I was in like seventh place. If I was Calvin and I was winning by a bunch of strokes, I would not be excited, but that's the format we're playing. And uh, yeah, it's basically this crazy two round tournament now with 12 players anyone's game and uh final two rounds of the year let's do this
All right, guys, to wrap up this vlog, tell you a little bit about what's about to go down. As I'm recording this, it is Wednesday, October 25th. Tomorrow, I'm going into surgery, going to get the labrum repaired. And it's so weird because I feel like pretty damn normal. I've been playing disc golf a lot, so it's almost like I don't even feel that bad. But I believe that this is the step that is necessary to get confidence back, get um, stability back in the shoulder, and uh, move forward to get back to where where I once was, but also get back on the track that I feel like I should be on in my disc golf career. So it's bittersweet. Looking forward to it. Probably not going to be able to touch a disc for a few months, which is totally fine by me. I'm going to take the recovery very seriously. Yeah, it's going to be good. And so many people have been sending amazing vibes my way. What the MRI says is that it's just a small tear. So if we can get that cleaned up and uh, strengthen everything around it, I feel like I'm going to be coming back way stronger than I ever have been. I'm already stronger than I ever have been because I've been forced to adapt and uh, train a lot to basically maintain the level that I am at right now. So with that work ethic moving forward, I think uh, it's a very bright future. So I'm gonna be laying low the next few months. Uh, there's a few Dismania releases coming out. So uh, I already shot some promos on those. So you'll be seeing those here soon. To recap just a little bit about this these past two events usdgc was just uh kind of beat me up but i i fought hard and i was able to finish top 10 which uh is always good at a major not necessarily where i wanted to be usdgc i i did it i looked at some of the numbers i'm actually averaging a top 10 at usdgc for my career which is really good but at the same time i've never it's always been in that kind of seven, eighth, ninth place. I haven't, uh, the best finish I've had is a fourth place. So I play well out there. The game is always just, just right there. I'm just, I'm very close. So looking forward to next year to put in a good campaign at Winthrop. And then uh, Pro Tour Finals, I made it through to the, fi the, the final two days, which was my primary goal uh, the last two days. Not the biggest fan of the format. Uh, I think they, I like the handicap system that they were using, but uh, I would like to see the handicap system be utilized throughout the event. And uh, I think, I think just have all 32 players play the last uh, four rounds. Uh, a lot of the, the people who didn't make it leave early. So uh, the fans don't really get an in, a chance to watch or interact with, uh, say, Simon, Matty O, uh, James Proctor. The list goes on and on. Everyone who was there are, are the, the best players of the year, so I think they should uh, should play the the last the last day. Maybe an unpopular opinion because I know this golf's moving towards more cuts, and I think that's good. But at the same time, it's uh, realize that it's it's a big it's a bigger picture right now. We can afford to give people a chance to play. So that's just my opinion right now. But uh, Pro Tour finale wasn't wasn't happy about how I finished. I was playing really well, uh, but. Uh, kind of eluded me. It's always weird because the, you know, the off season's right around the corner. So that was kind of what was in my head uh, for that event that I'd be getting the shoulder surgery done and then just dealing with a lot of life stuff. So uh, my head wasn't fully there and uh, that was beneficial at times, but also detrimental because it's not caring can make you play really well, but it also can make you play really bad. Uh, so that's kind of what I found. But all in all, the, the season was a good season. Didn't meet my full expectations. Um, expectations are kind of an, a pesky thing. I think they're good to have, but you can't dwell on them. Um, but I would say there was a lot of good moments to finish fifth in the tour standings, have two silver event wins, um, top 10 in all the majors. I think I, I definitely did what uh, I know I'm capable of doing. And there was many times where I was threatening for the win. So by having uh, more confidence, having uh, the sidearm back, I think uh, I like where my game's at. And I genuinely believe that the best version of myself has not hit the disc golf course yet. So that is very exciting. And I truly believe that. So thank you guys for all your support. 
We'll see if I uh, give updates throughout this recovery process. I might uh, just do some check-ins, see, see how I'm feeling week one, week two, and then just put it all together uh, once the recovery is uh, looking good, but we'll see. Taking uh, a little time off of Patreon. Um, so if you guys are interested in joining that, I would recommend waiting till later next year when I uh, revamp it, just really focusing on uh, giving myself time uh, to rest and recover, reset, metamorphosize. So thank you guys for all your support throughout the year. It means the world to me. And uh, yes, until next time, guys, keep on dreaming.